Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will never miss an upload. And to my existing subscribers, thank you for your constant support. In today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to cut underboss corset top. So if you want to cut underboss corset top, you have to know your body measurements. So you're going to take your boss measurement, your boss point measurement, your underboss measurement, and the waist measurement as well. In today's tutorial, I'm going to use this paper to show you how to cut it. This is the starting point. I'm going to mark 0.5 inch of starting point. So we'll be working with the chest line of 9 inches for the chest line. 11 inches for the boss point. Under boss will be 14 inches. The waistline is going to be 18 inches. Take a straight line across the vertical measurement. I'm going to take my neck measurement. So we'll be working with 3.5 inches for the neck width. Then the neck depth is 3 inches. The next thing is to connect the line together. The shoulder line we are working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2, that will be 8 inches. So you are going to put your tape measurement here at the head here. Then you mark 8 inches. So that will be for the shoulder line measurement. I'm going to bring the shoulder line measurement down to the chest line. So let me name it chest line, both points, under both, and waistline. The next thing is to take the bust pan off. Bust pan is 8 inches, so I will divide it by 2, so that will give me 4 inches. So I'm going to mark 4 inches all around. I'm going to mark a straight line. The next thing is to take the bust measurements. I'm going to place my bust measurements at the, at the chest line. The bust we are using is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4. That is 9.5 inches. So we are going to mark our 9.5 inches here. Come down by one inch for shoulder slope. I will connect the one inch to the neck width. Then you look for the midpoint. Place your tape this way. And you come in by 0.5 inches. Now you will connect your line. So we are going to connect the hammo line. We are going to mark one inch on both sides. You mark one inch here, then one inch here as well. Then you do the same for one inch. Now we are going to make a straight line. So we are going to connect the underboss first. I want to connect it to the underboss. Then you connect the other side as well. Having done that, you come to your shoulder line, then look for the midpoint. We are going to mark the midpoint. You are going to do this is to connect the line to meet with the chest line. We are going to come up by one and a half inch. You are going to mark a line. You mark one inch on both sides. Then you mark one inch here. Then you connect the line together. You do the same here as well. Come down to underboss and mark one inch. And we are going to connect it now. So let's extend the line. Let's connect the line together. Next thing to do is to take the body measurement. 
the bus measurement is 38 so 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 so we are going to transfer the two inches that that we have here so i'm going to mark it the two inches is going to be here then i will come up here as well i mark the two inches i will mark the two inches so i will connect this together that will be our new ham hole so i'm going to connect the line together now you will extend this line So that will be the new ham hole that we are going to cut out. We go to underboss. The underboss is 32. 32 divided by 4. That will give us 8 inches. We are going to mark out inches here. Don't forget we have 2 inches here for that. We are going to transfer it. Mark the 2 inches as well. We are going to come to the waistline. So the waistline is... 39 inches 39 divided by 4 is 9.75 so we are going to mark our 9.75 then we are going to transfer the two inches that we marked here this is it for the dart we are going to mark it now remember we've not had allowance so we are going to mark the allowance of two inches for sewing allowance. Then you come here, you mark two inches as well for sewing allowance. Then you come here and mark two inches for sewing allowance as well. Now we are going to connect the line together. We are going to connect the line together. And we are going to extend this. We connect it from here down to the waistline. From one double, we take it down this way. Now we are done with the blouse, so you can extend this down to the edge of the pattern. You can blend this area so if you want to cut you have to cut from here now next thing is for us to cut it down so we are, we are going to make a curve line here now we are going to cut out okay. Can you come up here? And you are going to come here. Yes, it's under bus, so we are going to cut the under bus out. you are going to blend the upper part here yeah, this way you can use your hand or you use cup fuller to do that come up to the armhole area so you are going to cut the new armhole So you take it up to the yoke. Then 
Okay, your cards. Your cards, your cards. Okay, your cards to the south. Let's see. So, this is it. So I'm going to show you what we cut out. Remember we cut off the other bus area, which is this. I'm going to name it this one and two. So here's the cup. So I'm going to cut this side out. Remember we cut here to so the new ham hole. So we're going to bring this up so that's you I guess to the one inch for shoulder slip so you are going to cut half of it so that will be for the same so you cut it into two Then you cut the neck with and the neck get out. This will be the yolk. So this is the cup. I'm going to cut this out. Corset. So, if you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Till I see you in my next video. Bye.